Welcome to this special October edition of They Call Me Uncle. Two words. And Mary Wollstonecraft Shelley's creation lumbered from her 1818 novel onto the screen and into your nightmares. Appearing in cartoons, questionable holiday music, and of course, the movies. Frankenstein. Z monster. The monster of Frankenstein, if you will. Or just Frankenstein. People will probably know who you mean. All of these invoke images of the creation. IMDb shows 200 and counting titles containing the word Frankenstein, because it's public domain. But let's put the movies away for a change and dig right into the art. Famous monsters of Filmland once sold a door-sized Frankenstein poster that a very young Uncle Morgan once coveted but couldn't afford. Plus, would you really want that staring at you in the dark? The Jack Davis version might have been okay. Davis also added the monster to a memorable cover of Creepy Number no. 1, which itself was honored in grand fashion by William Stout in his monster sketchbooks. Stout drew his own take on Frankenstein based on Boris Karloff, and yet another based on the lesser-known version of the character by Christopher Lee from Hammer's Curse of Frankenstein. Inevitably, Marvel got in on this by publishing The Monster of Frankenstein, an 18-issue run featuring art by comic heavyweights Mike Plug, John Buscema, I know how to pronounce it now, and Val Mayrick. Marvel also produced Monsters Unleashed, featuring more art from Basema and Merrick. Issues two and six boasted covers by the great Boris Vallejo, who in turn spun out a version of his own for Psycho number no. three. The mighty Neil Adams himself made his own monster in 1975 for issue one, and only, of Legion of Monsters, along with this commission. Castle of Frankenstein ran from 62 to 75, whose covers feature the creature exactly twice, give or take one more in the 99 revival. Morgan is partial to the Wally Wood one, but has never explained why. Gold Key gave us Dr. Spectre in 1973, where the monster pops his weird bolty head out through the art of Jesse Santos, and multiple pieces by the Spanish artist known only as San Julian. Now, it wouldn't be a TCMU art video without Frank Frazetta. Uncle's been collecting Frazetta artwork for the last 30 years, so you know he's going to have creatures of the night and beyond the grave. Another late great artist close to our hearts, Bernie Wrightson, made a full graphic novel adaptation of the book in 1983. At the Las Vegas Comic Con, er, I mean, Amazing Las Vegas Comic Con. It was still Comic Con. That's what they. That's but they added amazing. That's true. We found this print from Esteban Salinas. So they had told me that they wanted like a Garni Darko complete with like a mod. Yeah. yeah. Also in Vegas, we had a long chat with the dream team of Daniel Guy and Joe Bernardo from North Shore Comics and Bad Axe, and even scored commissions from both of them. Here's Daniel Guy's Frankenstein, but you'll just have to wait for Joe Bernardo's Vampirella. Stay tuned. At Denver Fan Expo, we got to see Simon Bisley's Frankenstein and even got a pick with the man himself. At Salt Lake City Fan Ex, Alex Ross very recently produced his own Frankenstein monster, which we were fortunate enough to see in person. Also in Salt Lake, we found this honorable mention from local artist Chris Chrisman. And Morgan got to meet Bob Hall, and we happened to score his very last print. And then later that year, the Horn of Dracula came out, Famous Monsters of Filmland came out, and Universal released all of their old movies. So my life was changed forever. And the highlight of our fan ex, and indeed our video, goes to Bobby Breed, whose own take on the monster has a story to go with it. 
So this was a piece I did for uh, Chimera Press. Uh, they were doing a Mary Shelley Presents. It was an anthology, and I came up with the concept of the Mary Shelley ghost and her, you know, holding her book and her creation, her monster, you know, Frankenstein's monster. I thought that would be great. A couple months later, you know, they told me, oh, it won the Bram Stoker Award. I believe it was best adapted. Uh, story and best adapted screenplay, but uh, that's an, an award-winning piece and I was uh, very excited about that. This video has been about art by some truly great artists. So what we've got here are some Neil Adams prints that I've gotten from FanX and had him sign. And we've got some Bob Layton, Iron Man, also signed. Down here we've got Mike Grell, We've got a Dave Cockrum with uh, Bob McLeod. Uh, that's one of the first digital art I ever bought. I need to figure out that guy's name. And these last five, uh, four more Neil Adams and a Bob McLeod. But in keeping with Halloween and October, it's about time we put out a piece of our own. Stay tuned. So what do you think? You only collect superheroes? Actually. Oh God. Sorry about that. Well, it is Halloween. Let's set the mood. That's more like it. Let's go watch a movie. Thanks for hanging out with us. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe.